April's So My Style choices were the Sinclair Patterns Nova Sweatshirt and the 5 out of 4 Patterns Men's Redwood Vest. I was set on sewing the Nova Sweatshirt from the beginning, but in the age of isolation, comfort is key, and so it was a real no-brainer. If you saw my April Plans video, you know I had a very particular idea about how to style this sweatshirt. But I want to kind of do like a dressy situation. So I'm pairing it with, <laughs> I'm pairing it with a simple basic skirt, maybe, maybe the short, but I want to use this leftover fabric. And so I was just thinking that maybe I could make a cute skirt that I could wear with t-shirts and button downs and, you know, cute tops, but I could also like pair it with this sweatshirt for a fun spring casual fancy look. And well, I made the shorts, you guys will see those soon, and the sweatshirt and was so excited to try them on together, but was not sold. I took a pic and posted it to my Patreon to ask everyone there what they thought and everyone pretty much agreed that it was an odd match. Thankfully, I had enough of the sweatshirt fleece to make a pair of lounge shorts from the same fabric. So, without further ado, here's my little lounge outfit featuring the Sinclair Nova sweatshirt. Ah! Isn't it so cute? Okay, let's get into the details. The fabric is a sweatshirt fleece that I got from Stylemaker Fabrics this time last year. I love its pinky coral color and the fleece is so, so soft. This particular fleece doesn't have a ton of stretch, certainly not the 20 to 30% that the pattern calls for, so I sized up to make sure it would fit comfortably. This fabric is now sold out, but Stylemaker Fabrics has this other sweatshirt fleece that is very compatible in weight. The one I used was a cotton poly blend, and this other one is a bamboo, cotton, and hemp blend. So it will be even softer than mine, and there's nothing wrong with that. Plus, check out all these amazing colors it comes in. Okay, now let's talk patterns. As I said, the top is the Nova sweatshirt. The Nova is a classic raglan sweatshirt that's designed to be relaxed at the shoulders, bust, and waist, and fitted at the hips with the bottom band, or semi-fitted at the hips with the drawstrings. But you can probably tell mine doesn't look too much like the line drawings. I ended up shortening mine by eight inches to get it to hit at my low waist. This was intentional as I wanted to emulate some of the styles I've seen in Ready to Wear lately. I also shortened the sleeve by four inches with the intention of omitting the cuff, but it ended up being too short and so I added the cuff after all. It's a very long cuff and I don't love that about it, but the length of the sleeve on the whole is perfect. Everything else about the sweatshirt is as it was designed. There are a ton of options that come with this pattern. It is offered with a crew neck finish with a band, which is what I chose, but you can also choose a medium sized lined cowl or an overlapped lined hood. It can have a chest patch pocket or a classic kangaroo pocket finished with bands, but I didn't put any pockets on mine. I can see myself reaching for this pattern again when I want a simple, comfy top. It's similar to my beloved McCall's pattern 6992 that I've made many times, but this one has a lot more options. For the shorts, I used a pattern that doesn't really get enough love from me. It's McCall's 6848. How cute are all of these designs? Especially since I'm wearing more and more loungewear. I have made the jumpsuit before, so I knew the shorts were low rise, which I absolutely did not want since my sweatshirt was already cropped. I needed the waistband of the shorts to hit right below the top because I didn't want to show any midriff. So I adjusted the rise of the shorts by raising it three inches. 
It was a super quick sew as the shorts have no pockets or any extra design details. Well, except for that curved split hemline. Oh, and I should say that the front of the shorts are not supposed to be shorter than the back. I'm still learning about altering bottoms and I forgot to true the side seams. No big deal since I'm not really leaving the house in these shorts, but I wanted to point that out in case you guys set out to make this pattern for yourself. All right, there you have it. Everything you need to know about my new lounge set for Sew My Styles April pattern. Let me know what you think of this little outfit in the comment section below, and be sure to check out the description box for any links to any of the products I mentioned. Here's how you access it if you've never seen it before. There's always a ton of information there in all of my videos, so try and get in the habit of checking it out. But that's going to do it for me today. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all very soon. Bye!